Hello, everyone. Imagine you are scuba diving. In front of your eyes are schools of stripy fish, brightly colored coral reef under your floating feet, beams of sunlight on the seabed, and then a giant manta ray just glides by just over your head as it welcoming you to its home. Now imagine a long beach. You cannot see any sand because the garbage on piled so high. There are a plastic bucket, bottles, net, washing machine, almost everything you could think of dumped on that beach. Crabs are scuttling among the debris. I have spent a lot of time under the ocean surface, first snorkeling and then scuba diving. And that first scene, just off Bali, the one I will never forget. I was 16 years old and in love with the ocean and its all beauty. So when I found that second scene on the beach cleanup project that I joined later that year, I feel such anger and sadness for the mantare, for the coral. It was the moment I realized that beach cleanup just wasn't enough. I had to do more. In 2020, I finally worked at Howe, and it involved putting my studies in electrical engineering to use. I was working on a project to build a solar-powered catamaran in Bali, and I met friends with somebody on that project. Together, we decided to try and make an electric propulsion engine powered by a battery pack, specifically for a small boat. We assemble a small team to work on design and research both product and market. And between us, we eventually succeeded. I was ready to launch Project Mantawan, my response to this environmental challenge. So how can an electric small boat engine make a big difference, you might ask? Indonesia is the world's largest archipelago with the second longest coastal line, almost 10,000 kilometers long. And it has over 2 million coastal fishermen. The average fisherman works one shift daily, which means he is generating over 345 kilograms carbon monthly. Multiply that by 2 million, and you get the picture. If the sea is absorbing 90% of the heat in the Earth's atmosphere, and carbon contributes to that heat, Mantawan will be helping to keep our ocean cool. Mantawan has been operating since the pandemic beginning and positively impacting the environment, economy, and community. With 12 units up and running so far, serving 50 users, we have already reduced Indonesian carbon footprint by 29,000 tons. Getting this project going has been very, very challenging. From the limited reach of the state electricity grid and to educating the audience about the product. We knew this wouldn't be an easy journey. In the last two years, we have traveled to several villages in Indonesia, sponsored by grants, and spent three months in one coastal fish village on Sumatra Island. Using free trial scheme, we introduced Mantawan to the fishermen and let them use the engine for daily fishing activity. Seeing their face light up when they experience 
cutting through the waves with a silent boat engine made it all worthwhile. So despite the challenge we are committed, our goal is to see 10,000 mantawan in use across Indonesia and Southeast Asia. Lowering our carbon, carbon output that much means a healthier ocean and in turn, better coastal marine ecosystem, more fish to catch in an environmentally friendly way, and fishermen able to provide better for their families. We'll keep going for as long as it takes, reinventing the way we save our ocean one engine at a time. <laughs> Any of you people who swim or do ocean sport, make sure you give back. Join Beach Cleanup, subscribe to your local marine support group, help those stripy fish, that colorful coral, and those manta to survive and thrive. We only have two physical homes. First is our own body, and second is our earth. Let's together do small act in our capacity. Every small act matters to help the earth breathe a little bit longer.